All right, so we need to actually help me get my notes open. Actually, that, that's stupid by me. I didn't get them open. And now I do have them open. Okay, so. There we go. Yeah, everything should be Gucci now. Everything should be fine as this week in indoor football debuts for the 2022 season. Yes, we're here. We're live. We're ready to go. And, you know, let's talk about the CIF first because uh, the CIF uh, is indeed the team that is, or rather the league, that is doing some stuff right now because they've got preseason games and stuff like that going on. Um, they've had a couple so far. Um, the first one between, what, the Southwest Kansas Storm, you know, the team that was Dodge City. Hell, even the announcer got it wrong, you know. Like he was calling them Dodge City for like several minutes, and I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting here laughing my ass off here. You know, we was called them Dodge City. They played Arlington, uh, the Longhorns, the uh, the Dallas uh, Dallas Indoor Football League team. You know, out on February 27th on the new CIF Network, which debuted as a website, as an application. Um, but the app doesn't really work and it caused problems today actually and we'll talk about that in a moment But the app really didn't work. Uh, there was a, supposed to be like some type of $16 a, a year type thing I'm not sure if it was for a year or per game But there was supposed to be like a subscription or something like that and that just never panned out the way it was supposed to So I have no idea um, again, moving to the CIF network, their own page. When you know, it, 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 that, that's the first problem. You know, CIF. I, I was all saying, you know, I said that CIF won the off season. I, I, I pretty much said that, and you know, I forgot CIF in season, not the off season. In season, makes some of the dumbest decisions I've ever seen in my entire life. Or rather, some of the weirdest decisions in my entire life. That bo both of those synonyms work. They're both synonyms for s me saying that I'm criticizing the CAF again. I know, I know. but you know, I, I, I mean, you know, I, I ran a business, so I know what I'm talking about. Uh, nevertheless, you know, Southwest Kansas didn't have their uniforms, so they had to play with community college uniforms. Yay! Isn't that fun, kids? And then the Omaha Beef, the defending champions beef, by the way. Yeah, that team. They messed up. <laughs> the, 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 like, something happened on the technical end tonight um, in their preseason game against, like, uh, I forgot who they played, but who cares. Um, so the Beef messed up. Technical difficulties trying to get the, their game up. And it ended up being on Facebook Live instead, and apparently it was a bad stream uh, by our own by a good friend of mine, Stephen Err, you know, the guy that runs inside the arena. I believe he's stepping down. I listened to his podcast the other day, um, so I don't know. But anyway, yeah, CIF got the 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 in season issues. Are already starting, you know. We're, we're, you know, the off season is coming to an end. You know, things are winding up, getting ready. You know, so well, let, let's just talk about who I think will win the C A F first. Let's let's just talk about that. Um, personally, if you don't have Billings winning the C I F, I don't know what's wrong with you. I mean, they have the most talent. You know, it's it's probably gonna be them and Selena or Selina. I always get it mixed up. Either them or the Liberty. In the uh, in the Champions Bowl, you know, I'm, I'm personally picking Billings to come out on top. Hopefully, you know, we don't have these types of issues that did, that have played, you know, the first couple of preseason games next weekend. So, you know, let's hopefully CIF Network and CIF itself gets it together so we can get everything on and ready to go. So, yeah, that's who I think will win the CIF this year. It'll either be um, it'll either be Billings, which I'm leaning towards Billings and Salina because they've been at it for quite some time trying to chase a championship. So let's move on to 
the APFL, the Arena Professional Football League, and then I, 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 I genuinely don't know. This is really the AL two, and I joked about it. You know, I, I said this is the AL two because I don't know what in the world is going on here right now. You want to talk about the definitions of unprofessional? You got the Jersey Ballers trying to find a league. Remember, they were trying to find a league. You know, they they said they had a disagreement with the APFL, and the APFL said the same thing. You know, so it was just completely disingenuous when you hear, "Oh well, welcome back, Jersey. Welcome back to the league. Nothing, nothing went wrong, guys. Nothing went wrong behind the scenes. Oh, it was just a." Inaccurate report. No, 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 no. There were both of y'all were beefing. Somehow y'all made up and don't don't feed us that lie. Don't feed us the lie that everything's hunky dory. It was just a misunderstanding. No, no, no. You're already proving that you're not a professional league with the way you've done things so far. You know, you and the AFA. But we'll talk about the AFA. Hopefully, I think I think there I think there's something in here about the AFA. Yeah, there is. Um, but you know, they welcome the well APFL welcomes Jersey back into the league. The Reading Raptors have also come in. You know, it looks legit. You got Charlotte. You know, funded by you know, really the team that runs the league right now. You know, you got Reading, who's won six championships. In, you know. Other minor indoor football leagues, you got West Michigan, who's a legitimate team, you know, and, and Jersey, who played in the NAL last year. So, you know, what, what's what's wrong here? What's wrong here? Oh, I don't know. Carolina Cowboys and Beaumont Brew, you know, getting kicked out. And then, you know, Beaumont had just joined the league, like, not even a few weeks ago. And Beaumont just instead decided to say, yeah, we're, we're done, we're folding again. They never played, they never gotten off the ground. I do not know why the Vermont Brew were even a thing, and that, that is a bad ad, you know, so it just doesn't make any sense at all, so I don't know. And then you got Fan Control Football, the other comedy league that has been, you know, plaguing Plaguing the indoor football world the last couple of months, you know, with the way they've been handling things because the NFT thing has gotten completely out of control. You know, they've got new logos for their four new teams, but they're all ugly. I think all these new logos are ugly. And they all and they're all named football club, you know. They put football club at the end of the team's names, you know, like uh Knights of Degan, you know, football club. What why can't it just be Knights of Degan? It doesn't make any sense. So this is not soccer. This is not lacrosse. You can't just call a team football club like it's nothing. You know, this is not the Washington football team, although they're the Washington Commanders now. This is not that. You're into a football. You know, at least be unique in some aspect. You already, you already have unique names for these teams. Just leave the football club part alone. And then, you know, out of nowhere, at like 2 or 2.30 Eastern in the morning, 2.30 a.m. in the morning, you know, you got the Wild Aces backing out, the Wild Aces owners, um, Greg Miller, Barbara Dunkelman, you know, they're backing out, and the Wild Aces are no more. They're now called Team X for the time being, as, you know, they got to get their name situation right. You know, the fan boat is, um, there. it's beginning for Team X, so whatever name for the team will be, because I believe the Wild Aces now are an NFT team, so I don't know. Uh, it, it's insanity, pure insanity. Like, you don't just announce a team, you know, it's like changing everything in the middle of the night. Like that is some AAL type stuff right there. It is. Don't, don't, don't lie to me. It's some AAL type stuff. You just you just can't do that. Like you can't rebrand the team at 1.30 in the morning. You just can't do that. It doesn't make any sense. And then there's also this thing where you can get 
like a year's supply of bubblegum. I have no idea what it is, but when you go to the FCF site, it's something like about, you know, a year's supply of bubblegum or whatever. It just doesn't make any sense at all. I, I, I'm completely flabbergasted by this, you know. It's stupid. The NFT Association was already dumb in and of itself. You know, the FCF was trying to be different, but they went too far in trying to be different. So it just doesn't, it just looks silly now. So, there's that. Um, there's a couple of things that we need to talk about, you know, in regards to, you know, the, uh, there's been some good documentaries, you know, if you see the Inside the Lines thing on YouTube, uh, by, I believe it's somebody that's really, you know, really in the indoor community, I, don't, I haven't, I don't think we've ever spoken or anything like that, but the Inside the Lines series, um, uh, for the Columbus Lions, that is on YouTube. Uh, the IFL has been putting up some training camp videos of the Bismarck Bucks. They just put out the Duke City Gladiators today, and you know that was that was nice. And the Vegas Nighthawks, their uniforms—they've been unveiled, and they just absolutely beautiful. The field is beautiful. The arena is beautiful. The uniforms look pretty damn good as well. I really like them. Uh, man. It's going to be an interesting season, and you know, with my new association, I got to tell, um, I got to tell my new boss, you know, hey, there's an IFL team in your area. You want to, you want to go check out a game? I mean, I can't go to Vegas, but you know, I, I can tell, I can tell my new boss, you know, hey, you want to go out to, to Vegas, to check out, um, check out uh, the Nighthawks? Yeah, come on, Flaky baby, check them out. Ah. Uh, you know, go to, uh, what was it, Dollar Store Arena or whatever? Something like that. Um, so, you know, we, we got to move on. We got to move on because uh, I have other things to do uh, with, you know, my new job anyway. So, Rio Grande Valley, remember, they're a travel team this year because why not? So, all their games, you know, remember that whole thing with Flow Sports was a thing? Yeah, I guess that's a thing, but there's also going to be some games or rather, all of Rio Grande Valley's games are going to be on Rio Sports Live. I have no idea what that is. I assume that's like a Rio Grande Valley type deal. I think it's like a radio station or a TV station or something like that. Uh, but that's good for them, you know. But in any case, you know, Rio Grande Valley is still a problem because they're a travel team. And the AFA you know, is also a league saying they want it to be legit. And, you know, you can't have travel teams. That's not legit. I'm sorry. And then, you know, you got the AIFA, which, you know, has been teetering and tottering with the whole Carolina Predators thing. There's home schedules announced at the, uh, the Crown City Complex out in uh, North Carolina. Or was it South Carolina? I don't, I don't remember. But they have the travel team South Florida Thunder on there schedule you know they got the other four teams on there but they also got south florida on there and i don't know how south florida resurfaced they really shouldn't be a thing because i thought they were dead like a lot of people because you know they had died during the pandemic probably but apparently south florida is still a thing i don't know why but it is what it is so i don't know but with that being said you know to tell you Who's going to win the NAL? Let me, let me tell you right now who's going to win the NAL. I have no idea. I honestly want to say Jacksonville, but, you know, I, I'm assuming, you know, I'm assuming Albany has something to say about that, and so does Columbus. So I think I'm going to go with a different pick, and I'm going to probably be wrong about this, and I'm going to say Columbus with Mason Espinosa will win the NAL championship this year. They'll finally get there. They'll finally make it. And, you know, it'll either be them taking... They'll be taking on, I think they'll either be taking on Jacksonville or Albany. But it will more than likely be Jacksonville, I think. You know, it just is what it is there. But I don't know yet. You know, the it, it's, it's too early to tell right now. Because, you know, the NAL doesn't start for another month and a half. So, I don't know. And the IFL, I, I genuinely don't know. You know, Frisco's assembled a great roster. You know, or Arizona's assembled a, or rather, Frisco's assembled a great coaching staff. Arizona's got, you know, 
same old roster, you know, type deal. And you know, uh, I mean, it's it's just gonna be it's gonna be a little bit weird to say. You know, I think Arizona will finally, you know, win one at home. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. Arizona will win one at home this time. They'll win the United Bowl at home. I don't know who it will be against. I imagine it will either be a combination of Iowa, Sioux Falls, or Massachusetts. I assume it will be a combination of one of those three. I'm kind of leaning towards, you know, let, let us get that Sioux Falls, Arizona type deal. But, I mean, I don't know because I haven't really looked at the rosters in anything with the IFL so far. Like, I have not looked at the rosters, so I'm just making a blind guess at this time. So, you know, okay. Billings will win the CIF. You got Columbus winning the NAL for me, and Arizona will win the IFL, the United Bowl at home. At home, remember, at home. I think they will break the curse and win it at home. So I'm just going to say that right now. I guarantee this will be wrong. I guarantee my pickups for this week well, will be wrong. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. But we got a lot of indoor football coming up this Saturday night. And next Sunday night, you know, or the next Sunday afternoon, excuse me. So, while you're still, you know, chowing down and getting the getting your brackets ready, I suggest you watch some indoor football on YouTube and the CIF Network, you know, because I'm not sure what the whole stadium situation is. I'm not even sure if stadium's going to be a thing for the IFL this year. That's one thing as well, but, you know, that's going to do it for our update, or rather for this week in indoor football, and I'll see you all next weekend when it comes to this week in indoor football. I hope you all have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow for the week 18 preview, the final preview of the regular season of college basketball, and it's going to be great. Can't wait to talk about it. Take care. See you soon, everybody.